Hey, how's it going? This is MHB from MHB Studio Lab. And I got a response to just a test video that I did that I uploaded to YouTube to show some people who were helping me um, from gearsluts.com. And uh, a gentleman over there had a really easy solution, so I figured I would share it, uh, especially since someone actually asked. So hope uh, this helps out. I've been trying to figure this out for a while. Um, I have a Digi002 and I am going into Pro Tools and the trick is to start up Pro Tools first before QuickTime so that it takes the Avid Core Audio player or manager and um, you know it takes that connection. Otherwise if you start up QuickTime it'll launch that it just gets a little bit messy. So Pro Tools then QuickTime go to QuickTime and do a new screen recording window pops up and a little drop down arrow you'll see built-in line input. And the reason we're setting that way is because we're running an RCA cable out of the back of the O2 or your interface. I think Mbox has those, so there's quite a few, most of them should. And then go out of that into an eighth inch input mail to your Mac or PC computer. And what that's doing is sending out all the audio from your interface and whatever you play, whatever you say, uh, it gets recorded. So uh, I'm going to just play a little bit of music here and uh, just find a good part here. So you can see that um, the audio plays through and it's actually recording in the audio with your vocal. And the trick to the vocal is before I forget um, is setting up an AUGS track so just go new mono AUGS track hit create I've created one already that's what I'm talking through set your input to whatever input you have your mic plugged into and that's how you get your talkback mic hooked up so you hook up the talkback mic and now you're able to um, play the music Helps. We're all 